Next, if you're to believe this particular report, these same people who haven't been convicted are being threatened that if they don't submit yeah. to these 12-hour forced labor days with injuries and poor conditions, they will be thrown back into the prison system okay. and in jail, and that's the threat that but they're I wish facing. But so. you remember Judge Mary was here when we were talking about the drug addiction crisis. If a judge is making a judgment to send someone to this rehab farm as opposed to sending them to prison, is that not a judge making a decision? And it's literally well, maybe it shackles like are saying that the so judge is, doesn't have the right no, to make no, that. No, no, I didn't say that. The judge has the right. Judges have a lot of discretion when they are sentencing someone, but judges so have to they, follow the law too. So they should not be sending individuals who are not convicted to these work camps where they have to work because right. the 13th Amendment only applies the exception for indentured servitude is Pr for convicted but, felons. So if you're not a convicted felon, so in other words, you if, be you're, if your free. crime, so to speak, isn't that of a true felony, is that the, well, is the, that the, the argument? The issue is conviction. Have you been convicted? That's well, have you, have you? I mean, if a judge is capable of forcing you to go to a rehab center, to me, You've been convicted, well, right? I mean, that, I, and I don't happen, understand the law, but, but... Sometimes they happen in a plea deal, even before you get to the judge. The prosecutor and defense attorney says, look, you take a deal where you go to one of these treatment programs, and in lieu of that, we won't right, proceed Right, but I'm, if I'm charges. taking a plea deal, then, and that is part of my plea deal, then... But the judge has a right to send me there. I mean, there's if a I'm... lot of pressure in that, Travis. It's not as simple well, as you're, you're taking it. You're taking it under duress. So a lot of these people are drug addicted. They may have mental health issues. Well, then they that's may have on their, that, that, then that's really on their lawyer. Railroaded. Consenting. That's on their lawyer. How'd you get from the judge to the lawyer, Travis? <laughs> because as an attorney, you you know. Everybody has a right to an attorney. It may, it may, and here's mine right here. <laughs> And you know, I think maybe, well, maybe the, maybe the takeaway here. I would like here. to say one thing about this. With this, just if you go back and you look at the history of this particular program in the yeah. report, it was founded in 2007 after the company was struggling to make ends meet and pay actual workers. Well, yeah. So they step in with this so-called rehab program without any certification, yes. without any any actual data that's, that's just helping problem. those people. And now it's turning an 11 million dollar profit. I mean, I think you have to question 280 men you, a year being put into this. You, you CEO is looking do. into this, you so maybe we'll do need to find out if there's any corruption going on. Maybe Very, not, and, but and, we'll but find out. But it's a really good point. I think that's the key here. Yeah. So let's find out. Let's find out. And uh, hopefully that will happen.